Leadership is hard, and sometimes it sucks, but few are willing to step up and meet those initial challenges. I am a leader, and yes, that is an adaptive challenge on its own. This is my transformational journey from a naive leader who doubted his own actions to someone who connected various resources and strategies to build a bridge of understanding at Gordon Parks. I took this class originally because it offered a chance to exercise the leadership skills that I had gathered in the previous two classes, alongside the field experience. I thought I knew enough to be a formidable leader, yet I was not prepared for the revolutional lessons that I would learn. I came into Gordon Parks detached and alone. Prior to my research, I didn't know this site or what to expect, so I came in feeling my, like my presence was that of a middleman, a disposable accessory stuck in a world that he would have to know. Despite feeling out of place, I had to remember why I was there. I came to the site of high schoolers because they asked for my assistance from the U of M leadership minor. I had a purpose to practice my leadership skills in a controlled setting by assisting Gordon Parks in finding their vision. Even though I felt alone, I knew I wasn't there because there were elements dotted across the field experience class that ev evoked a new mindset in me to ask more, reflect more, and plan more. The first was definitely Vanessa. Hashtag all aboard the kick-ass train. Hashtag cause she ain't stappin'. Since I was working alone, I had to consult Vanessa much more than I ever planned to. From meltdowns to moments of bewilderment, she was my anchor that held me down. Her methodology? Asking questions. She inquired about so many aspects of leadership and the obstacles I was facing in Gordon Parks, including whether or not I was striving for my vision or the students. Sometimes I walked away frustrated, other times relieved on whether or not I was doing the right thing at my site. She pulled me aboard her kick-ass train to overcome my self-doubt and reminded me that I had the tools to adapt and lead at Gordon Parks. Oddly enough, the second element were the two extra credit to coffee talks that I attended on purpose and creativity. They reinforced concepts from the ancient years of 1000 level leadership classes that I had almost forgotten about. Also, they introduced some rather interesting approaches to asking complicated questions in a meaningful and creative manner. I wanted to take their mind-boggling talks to my site, so I sent emails to the head instructors. In response, they said that I should focus on what my site needed instead of imposing something that I thought was cool. After reflecting on Gordon Parks more, I waited until there was a time and a space that required one of their teachings about purpose. Eventually there was, and in that moment of guided meditation, I hope they discovered something new about themselves. The third came from reading Heifetz's manual to adaptive leadership, where I was able to identify what an adaptive challenge was and how to approach it. The following are the strategies that I utilized and learned the most about. I learned to diagnose the system. As mentioned before, I was able to distinguish what the difference between technical challenges, something that required a quick and simple solution, and adaptive challenges, ones that took time and gradual change to tackle a larger issue. Next, I furthered my understanding and practice of observing and interpreting. Luckily we had journals to use and rely on. I found myself gradually using it not only for our dreaded OIIs, but for myself, so I could see the progress and record my reflections at the site. I found and understood my role as a leader. I wanted to lead by example, but there was also the role as facilitator and guide, which challenged my default actions to better myself and hopefully improve my sight. Following that, I learned to articulate my purpose and the purpose of our Thursday meetings at Gordon Parks. Because we were chasing a shared vision, sometimes we had to remind ourselves why we were chasing that vision. Finally, I learned how to deploy our forces. I say this in regard to inspiring those in my sight to shoot for the moon, even if they land on the star. That entailed a multitude of questions and experiments to discover those answers. And in doing so, we all thrived in the space of Gordon Parks as voices and leaders of the future. Looking back, I miss all my GP pals. Tim, Rogelio, Stacia, Teresa. And even though they praised my presence and work at Gordon Parks, I had to thank them for their impact on me. They transformed my leadership by letting me try and fail within their welcoming community implementing strategies, asking for help, and ultimately overcoming my self-doubt as a leader. We may not have accomplished our vision for a field day to repair and build bridges of understanding at Gordon Parks, but we did plant seeds of gratitude in each other's lives that have grown into fruition.